episode of Save Our Shelter. Jeanette at Lost and Found Dogs USA Network has been rescuing and placing pets in forever homes for over five years. But caring for the dogs and trying to turn this huge piece of land into a beautiful shelter, it's been tough. My dogs always ate before I did. Jeanette needs our help in making this shelter a functional and safe place for people and pets. So I'm bringing in my team to take on this challenge. I'm Rocky Kanaka, entrepreneur, pet expert, founder of Dog for Dog. I've assembled a team of experts, and together we're taking to the road to give animal rescue organizations the business and physical makeovers they deserve to help get more pets adopted. So join us and let's get to work, because it's time to save Today we're in Palmdale, California at Lost and Found Dogs USA Network. These guys are doing a great job, but they called us for our help. Jeanette, who is an MMA trainer and a black belt in martial arts, has now taken her fight to saving pets' lives. Let's go check it out. Hi, Jeanette. Hey, Rocky, how are oh, you? Oh, good, how are you? Nice it's, to meet you. It's my pleasure. I've heard a lot of good things. But I'd love to hear from you about how it all got started. About five years ago, basically, I used to do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and I actually opened a little gym in Little Rock. One day, a little mama pit bull would come into the shopping center, yeah. and she was by herself, it was just her and I. I put some food in my car, she went in, and boom, I closed the door. We saved her puppies from the desert, they all got rehomed. It was the best feeling in the whole world, and I think that's when I got zapped. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when Jeanette told me her story, I was really impressed, because what started with rescuing one dog has turned into a shelter with 60 dogs, and she saved countless amounts of pets' lives. Amazing. Hi, Boo Boos. This is Batman. Oh, he, um, hi, Batman. Say hi to Rocky, hi. Batman. He's very friendly. He loves attention. Oh, hi. I looked in his eyes, and I realized that he was blind. Look, what a sweet dog. Yeah, he is. Hi, dude. So let's take him around with us. Oh, I'd love that. Okay, so what's this space? These are our two beautiful exercise runs. Um, unfortunately, they're not too beautiful right now. Here you are. Oh, hello. oh hey, uh, <laughs> Emmanuel, Hi, this you? is Jeanette. Hi, Jeanette, nice to meet you. Nice Real to meet pleasure. you, Emmanuel. Emmanuel is part of the team, and he's our design expert. So she was just telling us about this space. Go ahead. This is where we work with the dogs, we train them. The winter, it's very cold, very rainy, because we don't have shelter. And also, the summer is extremely hot. What would you like to see here? We really would love some shade and like kind of like okay. a park setting where they can just run. Okay. So we would love to rake all this out. Every time the dogs come out here, you'll see them limping immediately. There's a lot of goat heads everywhere in the soil. You yeah, don't see and, them? And what are goat heads? Yeah, can you show us a goat head? Probably pull up your shoe. Let me see, maybe yours? Yeah. They're like little thorns. You get one right there. Oh, oh there, it is. there! Look at that. That's sharp. And so they go into their paws and they're constantly limping. Yeah. If we can create an environment that eliminates them, that would be a huge impact on the animals. This is super important. This is our feeding station. And my biggest issue in the beginning was food. I was so hungry, you know, but my dogs always ate before I did. Look at that food station. I definitely think there's some room for improvement, and I've got a couple ideas. This is our laundry uh, facility, okay. which is not much of a laundry facility right now, unfortunately. Some really don't work all that well. The most important thing for a rescue is to be able to wash blankets. Yeah. All right, so let's continue this way. Yeah. And this is the welcome area. Okay, okay. This is where everybody comes to directly adopt the dogs out of the shelter here. So this is their first impression? Absolutely. Bring the children to teach them about proper pet care and something safe where the dogs don't run out. I need that to be a space where we can get humans and dogs interacting, meeting for the first time. So there's got to be some stuff we can do with that. Oh, oh who's this? This is uh, Kazak. Kazak? Hi. Hi. Look at Hi. this guy. 
to climb right up into my lap here. I don't know what happened, but you know, we got a call from a high school that he had been uh, abandoned in the yard there, and uh, so we came and got him. It's beautiful. Well, look how happy he is with that tail wagon. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's nonstop, huh? The fact that someone could just leave this puppy by the wayside breaks my heart. These hard luck cases really get me going. Kazakh deserves a loving home. I want to get this dog adopted oh, out. Yeah. I'm going to make it a personal mission of mine to get Kazakh a loving home. If I don't get him a family, I'll adopt him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got it. You got to okay. it. Okay. okay. <laughs> the tour's done, and now it's time to huddle up and come up with a plan. I've got a lot of ideas already cooking. The challenge with a lot of shelters is the cramped space. Yeah. This is the exact opposite with the large open space. And what do you do with all of that room and how do you make it useful so that it helps the animals? I'm thinking we need to have shade. And some safety things, even from the, those goat heads that can get into uh, the dog's paws. We gotta figure out a way to either eliminate that, reduce the occurrence of it. What about that front room? If there's a space we're really gonna spend time on the aesthetics of it, I think it's in the front yard where we do it. Yeah, exactly. The design plan is to create a safe and shady exercise area for the dogs and make over the front space into a beautiful meet and greet area. My marketing plan is to spread the word about this shelter online to help increase adoptions, build community awareness to help educate and potentially find Kazakh a forever home. I'm gonna go make a phone call to my friends at PetSmart Charities yep. and see if they can get some funding for the shelter. All right, let's do this. All right, one. thanks, Emmanuel. Okay, thank okay. you. Coming up. Let's get excited. Come on, let's do this. Emmanuel and his team start clearing out the shelter while I develop a children's outreach program to help educate. So, you guys ready for puppies? Oh, yeah. And will I be able to find Kazakh a forever home? We're in Palmdale, California where there's a shelter dedicated to rescuing dogs and placing them in forever homes. Hi, look at this guy. We've got to save this shelter, and I've got to find Kazakh a forever home. So it's time to kick things into high gear. All right, you guys ready to do this? Yeah. Let's get excited. Come on, let's do this. OK, let's go. Come on, here you go. Here's a rake. Here's a shovel. Shovel for you. And do we go to back? Hey. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Good news, PetSmart Charities came through with the funding for the shelter. Oh, yeah, nice, good, that's huh? awesome, good yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's great. PetSmart Charities is the biggest shelter grant supporter in North America, and they came through for Lost and Found Dogs USA Network. So I'm gonna go meet with Jeanette then and start working on the business plan, and I'll let you guys get to work. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, thanks. All right, bud. All right. Look who I found. He is feisty, so I call him Chili Pepper. He's Little dude little... Chili Pepper. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I've seen some amazing things that you're doing, but I can't imagine it's easy. And so uh, we'd love to hear about some of the challenges that you're going through. One, two, three weekends in a row with no adoption, sometimes it's, it's tough because that is all the money that you count on for your operational costs. I think what we need is more marketing to let people know where we are, to bring the public there. Okay. You talk to me about kids. Is getting kids involved, is that important? Absolutely. They're the ones that we need to educate to teach them how to properly care for their pets in their town. And they're our future, right? And and helping with rescue. So Absolutely. getting that education out there is so important. So that that's a that's a really good idea, just getting the community and the and the kids involved. On the tour I noticed that feeding the dogs is quite the process. How does the food get to you? Literally, I would almost make a trip to the store every day. It's out of pocket. The fact that you put your whole heart and all of your passion, it really inspires me to, to go put this plan together. And I can't wait to see what you think of it. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, well, thanks so much it. for sitting down with me. You know, she's really got the right idea around education. And her idea about kids, it really struck a note with me. So I'm gonna work to tie all that together. We're gonna go out that gate right there. I wanna throw everything in the dumpster. While Emmanuel pushes forward on the renovation, I'm meeting up with my friend, YouTuber Joshua David Evans. We're gonna vlog together. He's gonna share it with his million plus followers. It's really gonna help get the word out there and increase adoptions. I'm here with my friend Josh. Josh, hey what do you think of this shelter? It's incredible. All the staff, 
They're so cool. So good. You can tell that their heart is completely in this place. So. Yeah. Well, listen, hey, the fact that he jumped on helping these shelters when we asked him to, he drove all the way out to Palmdale, and that is no short drive. It's not a short drive, but these guys are worth it, right? But spunky. The vlogs are up. Now I've invited parents and their children to the shelter so we can get this local outreach program started. So, you guys ready for puppies? Puppies! Oh, all that, right, all bring right. in the puppies. Bring Come them on. in. All right, take a puppy and hand it down the line. Grab a puppy. I don't know if you guys know this, but puppies like story time just as much as you. It's important to practice reading, so we thought, could you guys help us read to the dogs? Yes. Could you do that? Yeah. Okay, start us off. Your classroom idea for kids is really great. So I, I wanted to kickstart that and, and get it going because kids often get nervous if they're reading to adults or in a classroom setting. With this, the dogs don't judge them. Absolutely. And it's a good chance to bond with the dog. And the best part of all, I get to teach them about, you know, proper pet care. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, it. absolutely. The build is almost done. Rocky always stresses the importance of shade for your pets. So I've got a great DIY project that you can do at home. To build your own shade, you need a shade sail, chain link or rope, and carabiner clips to connect it all together. You can find these materials at your local hardware store. All right, you guys, looking good? Now, it's time to meet Connor and his friend Christian. Connor's looking to adopt, and I know just the dog to show him. So how'd you hear about us? Actually on your vlog. Oh, perfect, perfect, That's okay. Right. Well, this right here is Kazak. What's up, buddy? Oh, he seems uh, to like you. Yeah, he's really friendly. He's got some energy. Do you think that that might be the right fit for you? Yeah, yeah, we hike a lot. I know he would love to hike, am I right? Absolutely. Oh, great. I mean, look, just <laughs> loving these guys already, am I right? <laughs> I'm just having fun petting them. Like, his ears are so floppy. <laughs> He's pretty <laughs> squishy. Do you yeah. currently have any, any pets right now at home? Uh, I have one dog, Molly. She's a special needs lab. She could probably help her out, get a little more energy for her. Why don't you guys take some time to think about it? Uh, now, that, now that you've met Kazak, I know you've got to consider uh, Molly as well. But if everything checks out, Kazak should be your new best friend. That sounds like a good plan. OK, well, well, thanks so much. The transformation of Lost and Found Dogs USA has been a huge project, and we're working on the final details. Is this a new Bristol Pet Harry Racer? You bet. The head in this? has a brush, and the hair doesn't actually stick to the brush, so you don't have to clean it out later on. <laughs> That's nice. OK, keep it up. Thank you, man. Hey, Emmanuel, how you doing out here? Good, good. How you doing? Hey, it's looking good. I'd say we just show her right now. I think it's a great idea. Are okay, you ready? Yeah. Right, OK, I'll grab her. Go get her. Okay. Go get her. Today is the reveal. The thing I'm looking forward to most is how Jeanette reacts to all of these projects. I think this is the biggest renovation Save Our Shelter has ever done. When you're ready, turn around. Oh my God! Oh my God! This is great! Look at this place. How much space is this? Wow, this is amazing. When the dogs are running around, they would get goat heads in their feet. So we removed all that and we laid down all this new DG, which is much safer for the dog's feet. This is what they deserve. I can't wait to bring them out here. And, and what will it mean to the dogs? For one, now they can get out of their kennels and exercise on a regular basis. They'll have shade. They can have trainers come out here and do training sessions. And what pet pavilion would be complete without pet pools? Wow. <laughs> Why don't we grab Randall and have him bring all the dogs out? Let's do it. Okay. Let's give it a try. Randall, <laughs> check out the new space. What do you oh, think? Go Smokey! Go Smokey! Go Smokey! Get in the water. Look, get in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A space like that where dogs can run around and really express themselves, it will only help these dogs work out a lot of their stress and be ready to be adopted. They're having a good time, aren't they? Oh, yeah. This is cool. wonderful. I love it. <laughs> That's not it, though. There's more. We got to show you. Oh, okay. my gosh. Okay. Really? Yeah, oh, my on, gosh. 
I am so pleased that Jeanette loved the play area for the dogs. Now it's time to show her the new meet and greet area. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I just remember sitting on that step months after months after months just looking at this place wondering how in the world I was going to make it happen. Thank you so much. You could see the joy pouring out of her and, and really what this space meant to her more than just a yard, but really the vision she had from the day that she opened this shelter. When you know when a potential adoptee's coming in, you'll put a pet here and you put a pet there. And if they feel comfortable with them, they open the gate, let the dog out, and they could roam about this entire meet and greet area and spend time together. This is beautiful. This is the first thing that people see when they come into your shelter, right? So it needs to look really great. And I think Emmanuel in this space has done that. You nailed it. It's the beginning of a new chapter for sure. Okay, so there's something that you mentioned that you needed really bad as we were breezing through this area. Mm -hmm. So turn around and check this out. Yes! <laughs> Beautiful! Oh my gosh! I can now do laundry. Thank you. I thought it was really important for you to be able to have clean linens for all of the dogs. Let's do some laundry. <laughs> all right. Not yet, okay. though. Because I have something else for you. Come oh, on. Oh, wow. Yeah. Lost and Found Dogs USA Network has been transformed. And now I have one more surprise for Jeanette and her pets. You told us that food was one of the most important things at your shelter. Absolutely. And so we have a surprise for you. You ready? That's a lot of food. <laughs> That's not all. Save Our Shelter and Dog for Dog are going to feed all of the dogs here at your shelter for an entire year. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rocky. You bet. Oh, my God. You bet. That means a lot to us, really. In the beginning of times, my dogs would eat before I did. So thank you very much. No problem. And the great thing about this dog for dog food, every time someone buys a bag of food, one is donated to a shelter like yours. That's a great program. Thank, Thank you, you, Rocky, so much. That's amazing. But we all know we can't truly call this a success until we get Kazakh adopted out. That's right. Or I'll have to take Kazakh home. Oh, that's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Good news is Connor's on his way down, and oh, so wow. I would love your help to see if we can have an adoption. Let's do it. You guys go do okay. that. Okay. I'll fill bowls and feed some dogs. All right. Well, I am so glad that you guys are back, and I Let's know Kazakh's glad you guys are back. So everything checked out? Yeah, everything checked out. That is really good to hear. It all comes down to this, then. What do you think is Kaz the family member for you? I think, yeah, I think he's the new family member. All right. <laughs> we have an adoption. Awesome. All right, right here. Christian. Congratulations, Hey, Kaz, what do you think? Oh, oh there we go. I think, I think Paul's agrees here. Great choice, guys. Yeah. Great choice. I can't thank you enough for choosing to adopt. It means so much. Why don't we let Kaz take the time to play in the yard and, and have a good time? Okay, All right. great. All right, let's do it. Good. Kaz, come on. When Connor and Christian said that they wanted to adopt him, that's ultimately our goal. As much as I hate to see my little ones leave, I know that he's going to be loved. So I was absolutely thrilled. Connor was looking for the perfect dog to adopt, and he found one in Kazakh. Now it's time to see where are they now, brought to you by PetSmart. I'm about to check in on Kazakh who's wrapping up his first PetSmart personal training camp session. But first, I knew that Josh would fall in love with Spunky when he met him at the shelter, and now he's coming to formally adopt him. Oh, God. Hey, little guy. Hey, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to the family. Oh. His little heart's beating so fast. So fast. He's like just, yours, right? <laughs> yeah, right? He's probably just as nervous. Hey. This little puppy right here is now in a forever home because Josh chose to adopt. I'm going to spoil food. him so much. <laughs> You're going to have the best life ever. You know that? And now it's time to check in on Kazakh. Hey, 
Hey, so how was training today? It was pretty good. He's been working on his sitting and his yeah, healing. Yeah, that's great. What we like to do here at PetSmart is give you a PetSmart adoption starter kit where you save over $400 worth of great merchandise that we sell here. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that so here you go. Very helpful. Hey guys, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, good. Good hey. to see you again. How's Kazik? He's doing great. He just got out of training. Oh, yeah. great. Oh, he's such a good dog. Oh, and it looks like you got the oh. PetSmart adoption yeah. starter kit. You can use it for services or the Pets Hotel, even product. It's PetSmart's way of saying thank you for helping save a pet's life. And in addition, they're going to provide you with a six-week beginner training course. Oh, wow. That's great. That's going to be very helpful. So you got to tell me, how's Kozak doing at home? Yeah, he's Just... doing really well. He likes sleeping in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes playing with his toys as well. He's also good with babies, too. Yeah. He's good with babies. He's good with Molly. Sounds like everything's going great. Yeah, I'm glad I could find him because he's a great dog. Here's another great thing. Because you chose to adopt, Dog for Dog is going to give you a year supply of food for Kazakh. Wow, that's amazing. A whole year's worth of food. You know, what's great about it is Dog for Dog has a give back message. So now every time you pour a bowl of food for Kazakh, you're pouring a bowl of food for a shelter dog like the animals at Lost and Found. That's just fantastic. And you can get it right here at PetSmart. Perfect. It's so great to see that Kazakh's doing so good. And, and I'll see you soon. See you soon. Okay, yeah. thanks. Have a good one. Thank you. Well, we did it again. We managed to help Lost and Found Dogs USA Network improve their operations, and we found a forever home for Kazakh with Connor and his family. That said, there's still more work to be done. If you know of a shelter in your area that could use some help, let us know. You can also get involved by adopting, donating, or volunteering at your local shelter. Because everyone can be a part of this mission. And remember, it's all about rescue life. Lucas, come here. Come here. Like the dog's butter?